Hello, folks, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We just uh, were looting some bodies here. We found our first magic item. Huzzah! Gloves of power. Uh, these are pretty good for a steering, it looks like, mostly because the sleight of hand goes up, and he could always use a bonus. Always, always use a bonus. More details. What more details are there? Okay, just explaining what each one of these are. That's fine. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give these to a steering. So we should probably actually go ahead and equip those on a Styrian. What now? Uh, here. There you go. First magic item. Bound to happen. I think that's everybody. Yeah, I think I looted everybody else. All right, so let's go into town. And see if these nice people will, uh... Well, be nice. There are children here, you fool! Nope. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Uh, yeah, one fight just ended, now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Mm hmm. Intimidation. Do we have a good bonus to intimidation? I mean, we can do it. We have intimidation proficiency. Oh, we also have persuasion. Okay, I'd rather be persuasive here. I'm not sure intimidating is really going to work here. So more violence won't back bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Give me some guidance here, Shadowheart. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Totally, totally did that. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. I mean, yeah, okay, so we led them here, but we didn't the situation even survive is tense, us. clearly. I bet these folks could use a few helping hands. Alright, do you want to maybe talk some more there, Zevlor? Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the Blade of Frontiers. No, please. It's just well. Well met, by whatever name. Though I'm afraid that's all the welcome we can give you. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. And why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. All right, this ritual. Is there no way to convince the druid to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Well, I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. Oh, we show you a Stern. great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. And he just wanders off. All right. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in the chest we can grab. Oh, there's a merchant over here. Should go talk to him real quick. And quick save or auto save. One of those. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. 
The ritual will be complete before too long. You're really locking down the Drove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. And what about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. So you just said the regions are run by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie exactly. could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. So what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Alright, so we can actually sell all of our wares. And he's got enough gold to cover it, so that's great. Alright, that actually cleaned up a lot of our junk, so that's great. And then I want to grab basically every spell you've got. Because I want to give all of these to Gale. Can I afford every spell you've got? Maybe. Maybe. I've got 582. That's not bad. Now, we definitely want Hold Person. That would be great. Um, let's see. Ray of Frost, we already know. Ray of Sickness, I think we already know. Speak of Dead's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's got Speak Dead. Uh, Charm Person's not great. Dark Vision could be okay. Burning Hands we can grab. Charles, I don't remember what exactly we know. Ooh, Missile Snaring, that's really good. That's really tempting. 320, though. Okay, I don't have enough anymore because I bought the spells instead. Well, damn the luck. It's okay. We can come back for it. Change shirts. Um, okay, yeah. Will can wear light armor only, I believe. Which means none of this will actually work. I thought padded armor was light. Oh, padded armor. Yeah, padded armor is light because that's what Will's wearing, but that's not what he, he's selling. Uh, here we go. Had an armor plus one. 210. Ooh, we'll just be in the green for that. Oh, you know what? Shut hard. That's a couple things we need to sell, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, hold on. Let's sell Shadow Hearts things here. Let's sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Don't sell her clothes, though. She'll miss those. Uh, anybody else has anything? Yeah, the wolf thing we want to keep. Oh, what do I. Oh, okay, that's an alchemical ingredient. All right, we'll keep that then. Oh, it didn't go into his alchemical ingredient bag. Well, that's just silly. That is just silly. We do have a grease bottle, so that's good. I guess we're not going to use leather helmets. It gives plus one over deck. Saving throws? That could be really good, actually. Yeah, um, that's light armor. That could go to Will. So he's wearing the hat right now, which is kind of silly. Wizard League hat has a little embroidered rabbit inside its lining. The rabbit is called Snowball, and once he was lost, never to be found. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and sell the hat. Yeah, this can go to Will. Oh, I can't do that right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so give me the padded armor. So anything's good, I suppose. I guess we can sell this right off our back. Good for catching blows, but almost unbearably sweaty. All right. Putting threads running through the hazard vest and you gleam in the rising sun. Well, yeah, it's magical. That's why. Okay, go ahead and sell this. Oh, um, does make us naked, though. Sylvanas, um, guide your path. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to flash you there. That's not what I meant to do. Here. Wear that. Thank you. Oh, that looks good. That looks sharp. Well done. And then we'll wear that leather helmet as well. Thank you very much. So that's okay. That's a plus one to saving throws, which is great. And now, of course, we're out of cash. I mean, we're 115, which isn't bad, but it's not great. Gale. Lovely day, this. You need to describe some spells, my buddy. Pal, my friend of mine. Uh, learn more spells. Yeah, here we go. So, chance. Oh, you can't use these yet. Spell level too high. Okay, we just need to level you up. That's no big deal. We definitely go ahead and learn Burning Ants. Okay, and can we do any more 
talk to me? No. Okay. The pride of the gate. All right. All good. So we'll definitely be back to this guy. We'll probably find a lot more things. Okay, so what's up with you guys? Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. So, small adventuring team? You should all stay. Single blade can make a difference. Alright, definitely convinced him. That's great. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Alright, great. So that's settled. Your blade's up, children. Who How are until you? Roland shows off his thunder wave? This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. That's all he has to say. All right. So, if we weren't playing as Will, Will would be up here trying to teach these guys. So, can we teach these guys now? Hey, shark. Shashrock. Swords up, children. It's the Blade of Frontiers. They've been talking about you. They hope you're going to come with us. Could you lift their spirits? Maybe spare them a story or two? Not no bard, but okay. Okay, I like both of these. Frighten the feathers off an owl bear with a single roar and climb the ice mountains and stab the yeti with an icicle. I like both of those. Uh, let's go with uh, the ice mountains one. Stab the yeti with an icicle. Hear that, children? A yeti. Do you have another? Um, bested a red dragon in battle and crafted a club from its tooth. Oh, don't have to roll deception, huh? Thank you. I prefer when they smile. That was pretty good. Okay. Uh, what about don't you? Fight, fair. you fight to live. Step, parry, strike. Damn it! It's just not landing. Okay. Interesting technique. Having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Alright, let's see what we have a best chance at here. Okay, not athletics. Yeah. I mean, okay. If he doesn't detect us here, we could read his thoughts and then get an idea of how we can actually help him. And we could just try as the Blade of Frontier, which is funny it's not labeled as such. A little number I call the Legend Strike. Uh, like this, you mean? Step, step, strike. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Now, keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Yeah, don't shout your moves out like that. Spoils a surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. We got a battle axe. I don't think any of us can use it. Well, maybe Shadowheart. Shadowheart, what do you think about this battle axe? Um, this battle axe right here. Hand that over to Shadowheart, and we will be able to compare. Wits and blades always sharp. Any questions, children? Well, two to eleven. Oh, but not proficient with martial weapons or battle axes, so she can't actually use it. Oh, you know what? If we find Lazelle, swivel and wait. she could totally use it. Wait. No lunch. One more time. Um, the Morning Star here. I don't know why. Ah. Well, this has tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
And you should go ahead and put your other weapon uh, into yours. Alright, good enough. There's a book next to you. Wanna read that book? Can you read that book? I uh, cannot read that book. Okay, that must be decoration. Right, do we want to be here yet? I guess we need to go talk to the druids. Where are the druids at? And let's convince them not to leave. Look, don't take your eyes off my hands. Whoa. We definitely need a sleight of hand person for this guy. Uh, Sterian. Keep your distance, darling. Talk to this kid. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. All right. As a rogue, we should be able to do a nice sleight of hand. Amar's flourish, right? Uh, I never learned names or anything. Just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. All right. Vanish the ring with a reverse hammer's flourish. Oh, we can add a guidance here, too. Okay, and with advantage, too, because he's a rogue. And the gloves of power. And the sleight of hand of professionals. Wow, okay. A lot of good bonuses here. I'll take that, thank you. At least he didn't roll the one. Or didn't have to keep the one, I guess. There it goes. It's gone. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Heads. That's heads it not is. a flip. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. That's. I've got not more a where flip. that came from. Real cheat too. Interested? When you flip a coin, you've got to you've got to tuck your. It's hard to explain. Let's see, let me let me take a coin. So. You gotta tuck your thumb underneath it, see? And then it's resting on your index finger. So you rest on your index finger and just balance it that way. That indicates that it's on your index finger and then you go like that. And then when you wanna flip the coin, you put your thumb underneath the coin and then it's slightly like the tip of your thumb at the very edge of the index finger because you want to push it up with surprise force, right? And then that'll flip the coin. And that's how you flip the coin. It has to spin in the air. The coin does not spin in the air at least three times. You have not flipped a coin. You see a lot of people in movies especially, and I hate it so much. Like there's a bunch of 50s music or, or 50s uh, movies rather, where you know there's this goon who's standing on a corner pretending to flip a coin but he's not doing the actual flip. He's just throwing the coin in the air and catching it. It's just, it bothers me so much. And I don't know why, it's just dumb. All right, anyway, anyway. As a rogue, a staring and say, you can drop the act. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Um, okay, it's so one of these two. It's either a Tinker's Trash or War Widow Scam. So Tinker's Trash these names specifically but it seems like that would be you have a bunch of garbage and it's a distraction while you pick their pockets I, war widow's got to be like i don't know a bunch of garbage looted from corpses and again it's a distraction when you pick their pockets so either way it's the same thing I think. all right anyone see this a modified war widow scam again he doesn't have the names the hell is his you can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because... Ha. <laughs> oh, damn. No, please, go on. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? All right, sure, why not? Here's your ring, let's trade. I knew it. Hang on. Yeah, let's see what kind of stuff he has. That's what I got. All right, so he's got some gold. He's got lousy rings. Ring of being really invisible. This ring is missing a gem, or perhaps it's very invisible. Infinite wishes. The exterior of the ring is roughly carved with nonsensical runes. 
ring of resistance to ants. A glob of tree sap studded with dead ants occupies the space where this ring stone once sat. Ring of the Lichenesis. A small pebble swings from a length of fishing line tied with its copper ring. So garbage, garbage, and garbage, apparently. Harbell's Guide to Distractions. And that sounds like a lot of fun. Some potatoes, sea green dye. Okay, so it basically got dyes. Dyes and random food. I'm sure it's got the spicy shrimp soup. What the heck? I can spare some some gold. There. I'd be unhappy with this offer. Oh, you know what? We have Shadow Hearts extra mace here. <laughs> I'm still gonna be unhappy with that. Uh, here, give it a javelin. There. Perfect. Set the straight. You both. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Well, now someone's starting young. Who taught you that? One of the big kids. How. How did you catch me? Now, you were just unlucky this time, but you've got talent. I can tell. Wow, thank you. I guess I'll try harder not to get caught next time. Bye. <laughs> that's kind of adorable. I mean, totally got caught, but good job. Good job. Okay, that's why I wanted someone with a sleight of hand, is because you never know. Where am I needed? Especially as him doing a magic trick first thing. Please, last through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Ugh! Let me through, Ragrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! No, I think it would have been more impressive if all three of them had wild shapes. You know, bear, I don't know, wolf, maybe a Durgar, you know, something like that. Like, just really show the, to the line. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Come I have the animals on. Give him a chance. You get back. Um, can we just walk by them? That seems bad. That seems like a really bad idea. Okay, I'm not looking for trouble. Can you please just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. All right, thanks. So can I talk to this guy when he's wild shaped? It seems like we should be able to. OK, maybe not then. Maybe he just doesn't feel like talking. I guess that's possible, too. You there. Hello. Hello. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. All right, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Now common variety goblins led by a lasher and flanked by booyards. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. <laughs> time is spent among books. I'm a student of the page. Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men, but to each their own. Now, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I mean, he's clearly writing his own version of events, so let's just roll with it. Brass, no doubt about it. Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? 
Yeah, they caught up in the Mecha Warcraft. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. Maglaviet? The scandal. Uh, goblin superstition, not worth anything parchment, or just hold your tongue. Well, he seems to be on a tirade. Let's just let him babble. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Uh... About the conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. That's true. If it was just called Dungeons, no one would ever pick it up. But Dungeons and Dragons, now you caught our interest. Hello, boss. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Well, he's got her at all. Scribble note over here. What's the scribble note saying? Keep away from Tuppet, she's lazy enough as is. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Mm. Oh, Primer on Mythical Beast could be good. Uh, read yeah. it. Yes, I'm quite aware. Oh, miniature giant space hamster. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 2 reference. Love food. Very little is known about this particular cryptid, though stories say they tend to choose well-muscled human males as their seeds when they disdain to witness them. According to legend, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power known only to itself, but it provides its steed with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. On September, rumors members claim the creature has a taste for human beings. Would that be stealing? Definitely it would be stealing. With the black. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. Is Sylvanas a wolf? I thought that was a god. Dagger it over here. Let me grab that. Right here. Uh, shiny key and gold. Oh, can we talk to the nice bird, maybe? Oh, there, birdie. So pass. Shh! I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Uh, it's slightly off. Push it a bit to the right. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's it. Okay. He's thrilled. So I'm not going to steal from this poor bird. Um, what is your deal, though? Yes. Yes. This is perfect. I don't want to kick him, so let's just let him be. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Krosis and whatever else in here, so let's go ahead and pick some of this stuff up. You know? well, this is technically stealing. Um, not Shadow Heart, but I thought there was no. Yeah, there we go. Krosis. Find our master. Return to me there. Another black. Tell me what you By Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you? Fly quick. Fly safe. Talk to you. Or, nope, can't do that. Okay. Can I talk to you, or I can look at their correspondence report. Received message from a hag via Syroth from the native's bird. He buried Syroth ten days ago, not from the hag hag found. Message itself was threat, but also invitation. She wants to meet. Haven't replied. Buried Syroth again. We need to have your stone. Oh. Okay, so Syroth is apparently dead. Uh, where'd she go? She's left. Alright, it's not a problem for reading that. Uh, extraction. We'll look at the tree. There we go. 
long-winded introduction explains that Haskin Zelfin's notes, published as in As Is with a work journal, have helped bring alchemy to the masses. Start with a full history on the dragon, and descaled as a teenager and start their alchemical research to help restore their hide. As the pages turn, she continues to wax the book about how Zelfin put aside their own research to help the army. What's more interesting than those Zelfin's actual research notes? I've decided I shall make all my notes, but who've written and those still to come, available to those who would wish to study. You reading this text now will probably want it first. As enticing as potion making is, we shall pull the first out to start with the most basic pocket of the world, the world three. Most ingredients can be found throughout the room. However, they need to be refined to be any of the same so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients you will obtain an extract, which can be used to use potions, poisons, or collections. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract, or in rhyme form life. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Rice the same ingredient for extract excellent. Pretty lousy rhyme, but okay. Probably shouldn't steal anything else in here. Oh, I can talk to you again. You're here. Hello. Speak. How are we saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Okay, fair, fair. I'm not your enemy. That work. Could work. It might work. It might very well work. I forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Sound like she has to be stopped. How would we do that? A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. What happened to Hulsin? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Hulsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned. Should the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. The ritual is Korga's decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halsin welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Okay, then. I'm sure we to get anything else from there, so let's move on to actual stone door. The inner sanctum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. After a quick quick save she and then the idol. <gasps> Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Nah, it's, it's imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Hmm. How's my nature skill? Okay. I mean, not great. Persuasion's obviously much, much better. Tell the snake to be at ease. The girl must not be harmed. I mean, we can talk to the snake. I don't think it'll listen to us, though, because it's Kiga's, it's Karga's familiar, right? Seems pretty likely. We could probably read her mind. I'm gonna try it. What the heck? Okay, that's a good chance to learn. That could, that could work. Yeah, all right. How soon is gone? I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Huh. Okay. So now that number one's looking in a little bit better now. You've proven your authority, now prove your mercy. Fair words. 
child. Take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Okay, so now we can talk to some people. Um, Gail, how you doing? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Okay, I'm right, you, Shadowheart. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay, I guess we turned on the matters. Um, what's the story of the little odd artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Uh, we should get to know each other, but that's gonna happen gradually, so all right, let's go. We've shown them once. We take Grove Law okay, You wanted to talk to us, lady, so what do you want? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Only a monster would threaten a child. You have yes, to agree with that. you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. All right, then I'd best speak to Zevlor then. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Forever shrouded? What kind of powerful weak-ass magic is that? What's up, Gale? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you defused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. That was quick. Enough of the flattery, where's this going? I was being quite sincere, I assure you. <laughs> like the, the reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Can it be cured? No. It cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. 
I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home in Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. How many need details? I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Okay, sure. I mean, that's, that's what we can do. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. All right, we'll do that later. We just need to talk to the healer over here, and then we can get out of this particular area. Is so, it hello there, Nettie. You didn't. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Well, I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Uh, do you know anything about mind flayers? Why are you asking? <laughs> Pause for a minute there. Uh, something crawled into my eye. Did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles? Yep, you know of them. Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Okay. We need to be quick. This way. That's a cool secret door. Like, you would have just thought that was a wall, but that was really well hidden. That was nicely done. Two parts makes it really work. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Uh, the drow and I have some kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. So what's she doing? It's a great armor, by the way. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Uh, I mean, there's a couple of different things here. To merge my mind with anything else that's infected, let's just start there. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Well, on a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. 
You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. So, all right. I mean, that seems like seems like the Blade of Frontier would totally swear on that. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. So you must have learned something from studying. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's, uh, good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, sure. I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Okay, let me look at the second drow, see if there's anything in here. Never. Tempers are rising. Oh, okay, It's or clear not. not everything you find is at your disposal. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna look around at a couple of things. Okay, I can at least pick up some more and some other stuff around here. And read the stone tablets. Read the personal accounts. And Catherine guys here, failure was made manifest. He did not fall, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow and still did not act until his light was all but snuffed. That up. Wait for my one more, yeah, one more there. That's it. All right. Well, there's probably nothing inside the stone. Oh no, there we go. A bunch of stone tablets in here. Although it's red, though, so it probably counts as stealing. Yeah, it probably does. All right. Hmm. What's that? You just spot something? Oh yeah. There's a locked door here. Uh, if she's gone, and it kind of looks like she is. Switch over to Asterion. Everybody sneak. And then you try to lockpick. Easy. I can't even see a lock to pick. Oh, I mean, that is an issue. Huh. Okay, so there must be a secret something over here. Tablets seem like they might be tied. Oh, yeah, there's a missing tablet right here. Okay, so we've got to fill in the missing tablet with something. I just don't know what. Sort of tell. Settings record? That seems unlikely. Long as the power bell shining is the region separated by date, latest entry written by 10 days ago. It says Cub. The words are lying several times. It is now over a Cub somewhere. Hmm. All right, we'll have to look at this later. For right now, thanks for watching. This has been Baldur's Gate 3. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.